Hi, Daniel Hall here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have, I know, what will prove to be a very, very popular lesson because today we're going to walk you through how to illustrate your book and specifically how to doodle or draw a cat or a kitten. So in today's training, I have back with us my good friend and business partner, Lisa Rothstein. And for those of you that don't know, Lisa is a cartoonist for the New Yorker magazine, which if you know anything about the cartooning world, you know is at the top of the heap. It is at the apex. It is at the pinnacle of the cartooning world. So she really knows how to draw and, and specifically do cartoons that we're gonna teach you a little bit about today. On top of that, Lisa is also a former Madison Avenue ad person who has been responsible for coming up with some of the most iconic ad campaigns for Hanes and IBM and Coca-Cola and a, and a bunch of other big, big Fortune 500 companies. That's really important from your standpoint because not only does she understand the art, but she also understands the marketing aspects of it. So when you couple those two things with the final sort of triad here of, of just sheer goodness, and that is that Lisa is really, really good, as you will soon see, at teaching how to doodle. So with that, let's jump into today's video. You're gonna love this. Get ready to have a pen and a paper and follow along. Let's have some fun. We had several, many actually, uh, that want cats. Okay, well that actually gives me a really good chance to show you something um, on, on the iPad. Um, whoops, so I'm gonna try to bring my iPad up here because in the Real Fast Doodle Profits, um, you just saw me do a cat using Keyhole Ken. So that's one way to start to do cats. Um, but I wanna show you, um, and somebody, somebody else asked about, um, Again, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the focus. The focus is gonna come back. As the camera learns when. Um, Here, here's another one. Horses, yeah. people. Oh, horses! I love horses too. Okay, so that's cats, cool. dogs, donkeys, goats, cattle, sheep. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. So I, we, I, I, I can't wait to show you these things. So, so okay. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this down here and wait for the, um, wait for the focus to come. There we are. So this is a my iPad Pro. It's 12.9 inches. This program is called Procreate. Um, Procreate is uh, about ten dollars in the App Store, um, and so what I did with this cat is now I don't usually do this because I'm I, I've done I've been drawing long enough that I don't necessarily need a photo reference, but I wanted to do this to show people how if you want to use a photo reference to create your own characters, here's a really simple way to do it. Now you don't need an iPad to do this, but it really makes it easy and fun because the iPad has layers. And so the layers are up here. And so this, 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 this drawing has a bunch of different layers on it. It's not, you don't see the drawing yet, but just bear with me. So I, I found this cat, I imported this cat, found him on the internet and imported this photograph into this, onto this canvas. And so then what I did was I decided I was going to do um, a, like a sketch. If you can see the, the, the blue, I'm gonna see if I can make this darker. Um, maybe if I can make this darker. Let's see. Yeah, the blue is now you can see a little little darker. The the blue line here is basically um, circle. You see, I made a circle here. I made two triangles here. I basically and here's like it's this is like the keyhole Ken because here's here's the circle and this whole thing is is like a is like a um, is like the rest of the keyhole and then I picked off the these other two pieces here. So if you, if you look here, that's what this, this drawing is this. What I did here, I basically copied and pasted it over here so you could see what it would look like. Um, so I could stop there, but what I did after that was, um, oh, also I just, you know, I just wanted to show you. Here, here are, these are the main shapes. And I moved the tail. The tail of this cat was, 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 was around the other way. I wanted to show it so that it looked more like a cat. So I just kind of gave it a tail that it didn't actually have. So you're basically using the photograph as a guide. Um, it's and then uh, let's see, I have more notes here. Oh yeah, so I so I added other things. These are just these are just notes I took. I'm gonna get those. Um, and then I added um, 
a doodle, like a real doodle. Like, you know, like, I, well, I, yeah, I added a real doodle. I'm going to get rid of this sketch. Um, I'm going to get rid of this sketch. I decided I, from that sketch, I made this character, this cat character with a big smile. Then I added some color. And now what I have is I came from this, came from this cat. And, um, whoops, stop. Came from this and I ended up with that. Obviously they don't really look that much alike, but I used, I used it as a, as a guide. So the great thing about, um, about uh, the iPad is that you're able to, like if I didn't like the orange cat and I wanted to make it a different color, I could just get rid of uh, the orange, add another layer, Let's say I want it to be, uh, you know, tabby. We'll call it tabby, and then I could just decide that I'd like to have, um, uh, I'm going to do watercolor. I'm going to make it gray, and so now I can just, um, I can make this cat. I can make this a gray cat, but I don't have to worry about. Um, I don't have to worry about messing up the, the line, which if I, if I were doing this on paper and I was coloring it in, I'd have to worry about messing up the line. So if you're doing your work on paper, and also I can I can erase the, the parts I don't like, like the before I colored outside the lines, see, without erasing the line, because it's on a separate layer, you know, and I can make, I, I can I can erase with the bell, because I want the bell to be um, yellow or orange or something, so I'll make the bell orange. Whoops, see, I made that too big. So I can make, and I can undo it. So. What's cool about this is that you can do whatever you want and just try things on and decide. Like, oh, do I like do I like the uh, the tabby cat better, um, or do I like this is here get a tabby? We'll have more stripes like this. Do I like him better as a tabby cat, or do you know like this? Or then I can just decide to make the tabby part go away and put the orange one back. And now you see what I've got. How much how fast this is. Um, now, if I were doing this on paper, um, I could just do the line only, you know, get, get the line where I want it and make copies of this. This is what I would have done before the iPad. I would, I, once I got the drawing that I liked, I would have made copies of the drawing by itself and then colored in different, using watercolor or markers or different kinds of ones to basically see which, which one I liked. And if I messed it up, I wouldn't have to worry because the drawing existed, sorry, the drawing existed by itself. Um, but if you're using, um, if you're doing it digitally, then you, then everything is forgiven if you make a mistake or something. So, um, so I hope that, I hope that helps a little bit. Now, as far as doing other, um, other, other, oops, sorry, other, uh, styles of cats, I mean, or other, like, um, other, uh, positions and things like that I'm trying to say I'm trying to trying to speak and do this at the same time it's not so easy so I mean like we just saw we just saw um, um, you know a cat that was sitting down like that um, we just saw one that was sitting down that looks kind of like this and this is just a very simple sketch but like what if you want them to be doing something else it really helps to to like to like look at uh, at what cats do like what if like they spend a lot of time from what I understand don't have one, but they seem to spend a lot of time sleeping. And when they do, they look like they kind of look like this. I mean, this is really um, simple, 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 but I wanted to show you how, and if I was going to be a little bit more, um, you know, um, careful about it, I, here's the same, here's the same. Once again, I see the keyhole there. Yeah, I did the keyhole can there just to show you how that would work. But if I but if I didn't if I wanted to just be a little bit more um, you know realistic, then I would just I would do it I would do it like this. But you know, if if the keyhole can thing helps you to start off with, then do it. Because I could have done this and then done another layer on top of it. Um, I can make this layer um, I can make this layer less. Do another layer on top of it. See on top of this keyhole. Um, and then uh, decide that I'm going to just trace this and make this be, you know, um, my guide. And then I have this um, this more this more um, 
realistic looking or more finished looking. You know, and I can get rid of the sketch and now I have that. Um, so, but it really helps to look at photographs, um, observing things. That's really how I've learned to draw anything. The same thing with people. If you're sitting in a coffee shop with your with a notebook or something, um, it's the great it's the greatest thing to just like draw people's clothes, draw pe draw people's expressions. See, you loved it, didn't you? You now you know how to <laughs> to doodle a really cool kitty for your your books or your branding or your marketing or whatever you need it for. So if you got value from today's video, I'd really appreciate if you would throw a Hulk smash on that like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done that and hit the little bell notification as well oh one other thing if you want more of these free classes that lisa did we have them posted for you over at realfastdoodleprofits.com forward slash fb i'll leave the link to that in the chat for you here finally once again go out and be the blessing.